Well, Joey, nice to end 2018 with a comfortable 2-0 success here at the Woodspring. Yeah, fantastic. That's a double over Western in the league as well, which is always nice as well. Um, yeah, thoroughly deserved. OK, they got down to 10 men and then nine in the end, but I thought we um, we controlled the game. We were the ones who, um, who looked strong. I thought it looked a strong, dominant, um, organised performance. Um, we knew they'd try and play out from the back, but we felt as if it was never going to hurt us. Um, let the goalkeeper have it. He was trying to pick balls out on diagonals and we knew we could cope with that So um, and press them high as well. So changing the system, as you saw, I went with three at the back, first time I've done it and um, just wanted to be a bit more aggressive at the top of the pitch. And um, I thought we worked really, really well and um, pleased that we've picked up another three points. I think it was something you considered in pre-season, perhaps going with the three at the back, but you said the first first time you've used it and how much sort of work did you, go, did you do into that new change? We only touched on a little bit in pre-season, but most of it's been through discussion, really. Um, what I have got is a really clever group of players that are like sponges. They take on any information that we give them and they keep it. And um, we did a lot of talking about it after the Chippenham game because we did it in the Chippenham game by default, really, losing a man and keeping three at the back. We felt as if we'd create overloads on switches of play. We didn't quite do it well enough first half. Um, and then even even second half, all I said was the little bit of detail is I'll probably being greedy, want to go and score four and five um, just for the goal difference. And that's what's kept us in eighth I think today rather than rather than us being out of it because we've lost or anything we've won a game we're still around it and we've got a game in hand which is really important but um, just a little bit of detail around the end but then we've got we've got people that are right out on their feet they've put in some big shift for us over the last couple of weeks and over the Christmas campaign um, and we've now it's nice to see people like James Morton back John Mills has been called back from, from Banbury because we were low on numbers I've got a young youth team player James Ollis that's got to go on for us as well so Ryan Brunt was a little bit tight in his hamstring He'll be fine for, for New Year's Day. Andy Watkins is really close now. Dan Ball's running again now. Uh, Matt Richards is fine. So we've got we've got an abundance. Special mention goes to Kevin Manqua because I thought he came in, looked professional, looked really fit. He's looked after himself. Stepped in with the ball as well at right side centre back. Um, and I thought I thought his display was really really good. Yeah, when was, was it always in your mind to put him back in this game? It's his first 90 minutes for a while, but you can barely believe it. No, I've been thinking about it for a few weeks and me and Kevin have been in discussions about it. He's been chomping at the bit, if I'm being honest, to get in and play. He wants to play football like any player. Um, but the partnership at centre-backs have been so good under Robbie and Jack, so he's had to wait his time and be patient. So the change in system then dictated that I could put another centre-back in. It suits me, it suits straights because they want to get forward as well. And then we kept the midfield three and then went with the two up top. So... Um, no, really, really pleasing, especially when you change it tactically and we haven't done a hell of a lot of work on it. Um, we'll get better at it, we will. I don't know if I'll use it against Chippenham, I'm unsure at the moment. Um, but i um, really pleased for the group of players because what they've done over this campaign is looked after themselves. I've got to say, I think we're one of the fittest teams in the league. Um, we take a pride in that and we really work hard on it as well with our football sessions. And um, the lads are the ones that, that go and activate at home, if you like. They're the ones that look after themselves. I've said now, New Year's Day, They'll have to come in, and they will. They'll come in, they'll be right on New Year's Day, and they'll be fitter than Chippenham um, on our pitch, on a better surface than we had the other day. And um, we want to try and take three points. And four goals from centre-back now for Robbie Cundy. Goals from all areas of pitch. Joe Raines scoring his second of the season also against Western Supermare. Do you think he meant it? Well, it's one we've worked on the throw-in, if I'm not being honest. No, it's, um, it's one of them ones that's gone into him and he's, he's just whipped it into an area, hasn't he? But it's, it's a lovely one. It's gone in top corner, sort of ricocheted off the crossbar and post. Um, yeah, Robbie's, Robbie's in some really good form at the moment. And um, not, not, only, not only in his general play, but he's adding to it with goals as well. He's a threat. And um, the more he plays, the more confident he looks, more assured, he's more aggressive. He's taken that academy player out of himself now, so he's, he's learning one where he went and chopped it first half where he, he got dispossessed in the middle of the pitch. He's going to do that at times, but they both can play Jack Button and Rob Cundy, and we've, we encourage them to as well. So, no, some really, really good performances in a really in a performance where we were never troubled by Western Supermare, if I'm being honest. I can't remember a lot for Ryan Clark to do, and um, that's, that's more pleasing that we've kept a clean sheet. Your revenge from the cup defeat, which is our last away defeat. Now I'm beaten in seven away in the league, which is also very pleasing. Help us push up that table. Yeah, we're solid. I think we've got one of the best defensive records in the league, haven't we? So, um, no, nope, let's try and get a few more home wins now. Back on back on the banks. So we want to get some back-to-back -back wins. Um, Chippenham's a great one for us, I think, on New Year's Day. There'll be a big crowd in there. Thanks to the fans that came down today, this afternoon. I think they're a bit cold second half because they went really quiet on us. Um, but they probably felt the game was done as well. But I look forward to seeing them all back at Twitter and we want them really vocal for that one. Um, it's an important game for us and one we need three points from, really. Um, we'll look after the performance levels and we want them with us if they can. Push us over the line and try and get that three points on New Year's Day. OK, Henry, have you got any more? Uh, 2018 over, how do you assess the first half of the season? I said to the lads, thanks for the 2018, the year in itself, because um, they've worked ever so hard for us. Um, 
we've had a lot of change in the football club, in the philosophy, in the style of play, and um, personnel as well. So um, no, I said a big thank you to them because probably don't say it enough at times. We're in it together. We're a good group. We're close. We've got a really good relationship with the players, and so is Jim and Jace, all the staff. Uh, we work ever so hard, and we, we we want them part of it with us. It's discussions that we have throughout the week, which is part of why we try and put in a performance like we have today. Um, really good group of lads. So um, no, it's been a pleasing 2018. Um, what we want to do is finish this season in the playoffs. That's that's the target, and um, I won't shy away from the fact that we need to do that or try to do that. Um, all we can do is keep winning games, and um, if if it means we don't go in tonight, then it means we might go in on New Year's Day. So um, no, this group of players. As I said in the week, they keep giving. They really do keep giving, and um, I thank them for that. And um, what we've got to do now is keep working between now and the end of the season and try and keep getting positive results.